Hi, Tim Uggert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how, with the Chromebook, that you can create a C program using the command line. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the Linux environment is set up. For Chromebooks 2019 and after, they should have the ability to do this. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so we're going to go to, in the settings, to the Advanced tab and then to the Developers tab. And you'll see that we have this Linux development environment. If you haven't set this up, it'll have a button that says Turn On. You want to click on that and then go through setting up your Linux environment. It's very straightforward. After you've done that, you'll get this terminal that'll open up, and it'll probably be this size. You can maximize it doing this. Okay, and you can hit Control Plus, and that'll make it bigger if you want to see the font a little bit easier. You can also go down here and right-click on here and then click on the settings and change the font size and the font type that way. Okay, once you've got that, one program you're going to want to well install is Nano. To first do that, you want to type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Okay, you're going to run that. Okay, all my packages are up to date. I just did that, so it didn't really do anything for me. Okay, now you're going to want to install Nano. So to do that, you type sudo apt install nano. Okay, again, I have it installed, so um, you know it's already set up for me. Okay, now to run a C program, you want to install build essential. So you're going to type sudo apt build dash essential. I also have this installed. Ah, I have to type install build dash essential. Okay, I also have this installed. Remember the install there. Uh, as you can see, when I forgot the install, it gave me an error message. Uh, as you can see, I've already got that installed, but it'll run you through and ask you to confirm that you want to take up a certain amount of space to install the tools necessary to compile and run C programs. Okay, so now I'm going to clear out of that, and I can make a directory just with the command mkdir and then the name of the directory. I'm just going to call it C. I'm going to then cd into C, change directory into C, and now uh, I can create a file with nano by just typing nano and then the name of the file. I'm going to call it main.c. Okay, now I can write my C program. So I'm going to include the uh, standard input output header file and the standard library header file. I'm also going to have a main function. And then within that main function, I'm going to return zero. Okay. Uh, and finally, let's print something in our program. Let's print, hello, how are you? Okay. And I'll include that print command. I can hit Control S to save it, uh, or Control O if you haven't named the file yet. To get out of Nano, I just type Control X. Okay. Now I need to compile my program. To do that, I'm going to type GCC main.c. That's one of the ways I can do it, and I'll show you how to run it this way. So we'll just do that, and it's compiled. Now to run it, I'm going to type period slash a dot out, and it says, hello, how are you? Now you notice that the prompt is coming up in the same line. Let's fix our program. To do that, I'm going to run the command nano main.c again, and I'm going to go down here, and my mouse doesn't work, but you can set up the mouse to work with your nano RC file or in a bash alias file. I'm going to put a slash in and then hit control S to save it. Control X to exit. I can build this again, either with the GCC main.c or I can change it. So the output file is a different name. Let's do GCC main.c and let's this time make the output file slightly different. I'm going to go dash O and then the name of the output file. I'll just call it main. Okay. It's going to go ahead and compile. All right. Now to run it, put a period slash and just the name that I gave it for the output main. And you'll see it says, hello, how are you? And 
with that slash n, the escape carrier character for the new line, you'll see the prompt goes down to the new line. So that's how you can run a C program from the command line on a Chromebook. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.